Welcome back to Back to the Future the game. <laughs> part five. <laughs> yeah, this is part five. Okay, so when we last left our hero, he was walking. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I know what to do now. I know exactly what to do now. Not that. Oh, no. No, I'm just so sad. Walking sad. Sad faced. What's taking this so long? Come on. Oh, there we go. I see you, Emmett. You think you can get away from me? Huh? You think you can? You think you can stop me? You think that you can stop my Never be able to remember what young huh? Doc's mumbling about. You fucking about. think you can stop me? Ah, oh, my funny haha. -ha? My funny like a clown. Is that what it is? You, <laughs> you talking to me? You talking to me? We must be talking to me. I'm the only one here. Hey, guess what? You don't have these yet. I mean, you do, but they're all big magnetic tapes. Chance. I got this little thing. A federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Oh my God, it's not. That's still not what I wanted. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't, well, don't have a dark secret to hide. Emmett. Okay, I know what to do. Use the tape recorder on Emmett. There you go. Think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh, oh. That was not weird at all. You go that way, and I'll go talk to the jail some more. <laughs> People should continually question why Marty continually asks. Clarity. Hey, guess what? Guess what I got? Guess what I got on tape? Richard Nixon, we can prevent Watergate. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? I have the lost minutes of the tape. Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's Simon nice. Conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals a Hamiltonian operator. That well, was my shopping list. answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Because you gave the idea to yourself. I was not listening. Stack. At all. What was the formula? What was H again? The Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian operator. operator. Got, it. Got it. Okay, I can do this. Hang in there. Hamiltonian. 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 Oh, this reminds me of a joke. So this kid, right? He's uh, He gets home from school one day. And his mother tells him... No, not his mother. His father. His father tells him to go down to the local store. He needs to pick up a loaf of bread... Can of corn. Right? Okay. Loaf of bread, can of corn. Kid doesn't want to forget this shit. So he keeps saying, you know. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. He keeps saying, uh, can of corn. Oh, no, no, no. No, not the loaf of bread. He's asked to get a can of corn and ask the guy at the store how his wife is doing. So he keeps saying to himself, can of corn, how's your wife? Can of corn, how's your wife? Can of corn, how's your wife? He walks down the street. Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian, you know. Can of corn, how's your wife? Gets to the uh, guy at the counter. Counter guy says, what can I do for you? And the little kid, you know, he's he's got the things in his head. He goes, he goes, I need a can of corn, how's your wife? And he says, the store sh uh, shopkeeper guy says, about the corn, mind you. He says, cracked or whole? And the little kid says, her did. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian yeah. operator. 
there's a what bunch of kids out there who don't get it because they don't know that you can crack if corn is a or have whole corn and what he thought he said was cracked her whole his wife and he said her did I'm sure All right, now, if you're older than the age of 13, the way you figured out how to build that rocket then you can listen drill. to what I'm about to say. If not, so plug your ears. Science. He's talking about her butthole. Well, okay, now like that we this. let that you sink in, the kids can come back. Drill. Kids can come then back now. Only be one I want to keep this rated PG-13. You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? I really, really, really need your rocket, rocket drill. This is all drill. just an innuendo, course, isn't it? Of course. Naturally, it's just a scale. I want me some Emmett rocket drill. I you, say, first thing in the morning. I need it tonight! Now that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor. Dr. McCoy. It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. <laughs> E.T. theme for I'll some reason. For what is it? I was trying to think Star Trek, alcohol. and for some reason E.T. You know came out of my mouth. If I had a penny for every time I said that E.T. came out of my mouth, I would be a rich man. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes. So penis. Listen, I'll help you deliver Einstein, it. Einstein, what I say about that poop? You need. It'll help you get that drill by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Vietnam poop. I've got a subpoena. Damn it, Clarity. Who even are you? <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's mm -hmm. go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. God damn it, Clarity, yeah, well, who are you? I was fitted for a Chicago overcoat. What is that? I don't know. I am from the 80s. I'm gonna take a quick pause. We're gonna be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> now, no one said this Let's Play was gonna be pretty. Okay. People pee. I'm doing this for you. What am I doing? I don't even remember. Let's talk to this bitch. Hey, uh, Still Mr. gotta get laid. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Got those lazy Try hands. Not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we You're a hot new scoop. Say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. No, I yeah, can't. I found someone to keep him distracted. Oh, we're talking about the dog. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And I'd like oh, to see your something to shady. Conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? I'd like society? you to go Not bad. Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. I wish you'd deliver my soup. You make hot soup deliveries? Oh, yes, yeah, she makes hot soup deliveries. To the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. Oh, I pick up barrels healthy, of hot right. soup at the kitchen, and I deliver Not them hither soul. and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely I'd like to see her hall. Shady Acres. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop. Everything, if you really want to, everything she says is an innuendo. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against no, it. No, she <laughs> never spit. She only swallows. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. 
I have ruined this. I have ruined this. What's this I can't. Society? Everything she says you is just... You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking <sighs> hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, oh, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Hmm. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? In my bedroom. The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Oh, Please, yeah. tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. I can deliver soup. Yeah, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. <laughs> if you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The... Farm! The Farm for Unwanted Children. Perhaps their parents don't want them because they eat too much. That's conceited as hell. Nope, don't need a bicycle. All right, Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! And magic. That's how soup works, son. Magic women with magic pink bikes. Okay. <sighs> Let's go talk to the bad guy. He might have something fun to say. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. Kiwi Desu. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Both. I'm looking for no. How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Oh, ho, ho. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Right. Okay. That's good. That's good. About Edna. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. He's my employee. He's very busy today. Okay. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Artie's hat? Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey. Hey. Run with the peanuts. Oh, no. A brick wall. However will we get here? Oh, no. A man. Oh, no. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Oh, no. 
Oh no, Frisbee. Oh no. I am trapped behind the three foot wall. I should have played rugby in high school. Oh no, train crawl. We have escaped through means of magic. We too own a bike Nobody that delivers makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Quack. That ain't funny. How you like it if I step? Oh god, that's the poop. That's the Vietnam poop. I knew it. We hid the whole time. He never suspected. Where do you learn how to move like that? Good time, man. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Where did... Okay. I just shoved a hat. Up my butthole. That's where it went. Yes, indeedy. Okay, let's talk to Edmit Edmit Till. Let's talk to this bastard. Hey, about the subpoena. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? For a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> that dog. This is the best at dog actor I've. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. That I do. Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Hmm. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Also, I already knew to wear a bulletproof vest, thanks to the letter that I got written by a man named Carl Sagan. And I figured, what the hell? you read the time machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Oh, hew, 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 hew. Okay. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't Michael Corleone. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm not lying to you at all. About anything. Ever. Why would I lie? I don't look shifty. Except I do. These period clothes are more western than they are. Anything else, but... No matter. I'm a time traveler. Damn it. I walk like a penguin because I've got penguin things to do. God damn it, Edna. I told you to get your hot ass over to the soup kitchen. Find booze in the middle of prohibition. Maybe I should look for some drunks. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe it's in the soup kitchen. Maybe I've played this game before. Nah. <laughs> nah. What? How did you get in here? You were in the park. That don't make no sense. You don't make no sense. Today's soup is cabbage. Reserved for charity. Hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh... Soup. Soup. Soup? Soup, soup? Well, uh, well uh, this, this is, is the regular, regular soup, soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. And by special, he means delicious. Hey, cabbage. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. 
Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. It's delicious. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. That doesn't look like soup at all. do is you gotta bang on the red pipe and the pipe of looks like these pipes go into the basement yeah that's how it works and then you take the salt shaker and you just no no oh no what are you doing where's he going as it where's he go oh yeah that's right bang on the pipe pipe does the thing and then that goes I brought more of the, the soup to the special place that the soup goes. There you go. Okay, I need something to bang on the pipe. Uh, there's some. Um, what do you got to say about all this? Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. I think he thought it meant it was something sexual. This place is dusty. Emmett, I can't get into the door <laughs> I just, over there. All I the think about is the decor. The door? It's so tacky. So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, yes. No, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? No. I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay. Well, in that case... Why don't we? Eureka! Okay, I guess he figured something out. Talk to this, talk to this bozo for a little bit. Oh, you got the door open. Emmett. Yes. That was not what he said. <laughs> nice door jam, jam. Oh, that's. Nice door jam. Just a little mechanical is that a word? In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Nice door we'll jam. Score that hooch somehow. I'll I'm going to go open the door and try and get some alcohol. Pretty neat, Doc. Yeah, with the door jam. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. At least those Foiled tables by are tables again. It's always what happens, isn't it? Hey, yo, mister. I'm gonna bang on the pipe and you can't stop me. Hit the pipe, do it. He won't know. <clears throat> he won't even know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look at us. Look. Oh, shit. He don't even know. He got his fingers through the paper. What? What happened? I know how to do that. I can figure it out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Talking to me. Talking to me. I must be talking to Why is the soup in the bed? Can I have some soup? Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? No. So that's a no then. There is nothing in this bowl. Nor on that spoon. I guess he's just like, I'm gonna go with this delusion. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Uh... Ch ch 
chili powder. Maybe soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got Moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a Who bit, shall we? Moxie? I hardly even noaks her marks. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter what the hell I tell him to put in the damn soup. It just, it just does. Well, I know what to do now. Watch me and my cleverness. Bang, bang, bang. Room service. Oh. Uh oh. Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Of course come I now, have. Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley now weren't I so really dependent want some soup. on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Nice symbolism. Good metaphor usage, too. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. No, yeah, I really kind of want some soup now. Soup sounds pretty yeah, damn good. Barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Um, well, we're getting somewhere at least. How did you? You're breaking space time, bro. You're supposed to be a scientist. You're supposed to know not, not to do that. Oh, now you're gone again. Okay. Oh, now you're. Yep, yeah, you're over there. You're just. You're magic. You're magic. I don't even. She's magic, and you're magic. Everybody's just magic. Yo. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. The society. I'm... Oh. I got a book. That don't mean nothing oh, in the 30s. Where? She don't care no more. <laughs> oh, where? Interest is lost. All, all interest gone. Man and dog, man's best friend. Now don't you poop. Don't you poop. What? No one. Oh, okay. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Oh. But we do, don't we? We'll get that subpoena delivered. I think we do. I d oh, we do. I took his hat. Einstein. Put this on your face, bro. I'm gonna dress you up to make you look like hey, people. Honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Now put this on. Hey, boy, you look you so find funny. Who to this hat? Wait. Oh. Oh. I see. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Follow that dog. <sighs> <sighs> I had no idea that my buttons were so firm. Isn't this the same apartment that Edna Strickland is going to live in in the future? Ah, deja vu. Oh, look at that, I called it. I'm so clever. Ring the door buzzer. There's only one person who lives here. This jackass. Yeah? Yeah. Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I know what it is. I got something for you. A letter. Me and the boys back, back at the after office. After I give him the subpoena. We, uh, we had a bet going on that Amadi wouldn't even be hey, here. Arthur, can you come Looks down like a I lost. Do I know you? We're family. I've got something We've for got you. We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. God damn it. God damn it. Let's just go play billiards. There's obviously one right below him. It'll be fun. Einstein knows how to play pool. He what put now? A stick in his little paws, and we'll put the hat on him this time. 
For real. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've gotten pinned. Got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck no, up here till the... I... Sorry. Maybe I'm supposed to tell you that we're related after all. Hey, I'm still up for putting the hat on the dog. Sounds like a lot less trouble. What now? Uh, what do you think? I got shit to say. It's me. If you again. wouldn't keep closing Please the window, both of us wouldn't have this trouble. Why? We're family. I'm your grand uh mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Uh, yeah. Sure. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. God damn it, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to bring you down here? What do I gotta do? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? The subpoena Oh, uh, the subpoena. Maybe. Maybe the subpoena is what we gotta do here. Uh, use the buzzer first. Buzz that asshole. Bzzzt. What now? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the subpoena. But not until I tell you that your name is not Subpoena Man. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Ah. Oh. Okay, how about let's just let's get witty here and see what this does. Yo! Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. You are a vegetable. <sighs> Got any hints? Too late, and I'm pretty stumped. Go and get something from the the town center. What? Yeah, I do need another hint. There aren't any more. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we're going back to the town center then, aren't we? Someone's playing tricks on... No, you're just a fucking retard made of cheese. <clears throat> it is midnight, man. Fresh bread. Fresh and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think this is uh, my cue. The fact that I'm starting to stumble speech. This is. Oh, wait. Let's do this first. Cutscene here. Hey, I want my peanut bowl back. Oh, okay. We will, uh, we will continue the adventures of Marty McFly and his asshole friend Emmett. Um. After these short messages. Be good, boys and girls. Spay and neuter. Your grandmother.